Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you the best tricks to get as minimal input delay as possible. Right at the start of chapter 2 season 4, I don't know about you guys, but my builds definitely do feel delayed and the input lag has been crazy this season. But lucky for you guys, I have done all the research in the book, looked at every single input delay guide and as you guys know I have made a video on this just about a month ago. But I've learned so much ever since then guys and the methods I'm about to tell you today is so so crazy I can't even explain to you guys. These methods will ensure you as minimal input delay. Before I did these methods I was terrible at Fortnite, right after I did them. My builds were placing, I was replacing everyone's walls, my editing got quicker, you know. The methods I'm about to go over today, some of the pro experts don't even say because they charge you money for them to do this to your PC. But I'll be giving you a full optimization guide to minimize your Fortnite input delay and just make your PC overall better. You know, it's crazy I'm even giving this advice for free, but it would be honestly so appreciated if you subscribe to my channel and leave a like on the video. As much as one of those annoying YouTubers I sound like who just plug in their channel. guys. I am so close to 5,000 subscribers. This has honestly been a dream of mine since like, since, since like the start of my life. And honestly, if you guys want to subscribe, it only takes two seconds out of your day. Honestly, you just have to press two buttons, subscribe and like, and you honestly will make my life complete. Like, I'm not even saying that to sound cringe. You honestly will make my day. So let's move on to the first method, guys. Cue in the intro. So the first method actually does require you guys getting off of your Fortnite game. I'm going to start off with a really easy method, but quite a lot of you guys were asking me questions on how to do this. So I'm going to show you exactly on my screen how I download Timer Resolution. What Timer Resolution is, is essentially an app that you'll have in the background of your Windows. This pretty much gets rid of all the input delay that your Windows PC provides you with. Now, you're probably thinking, this is going to take up so much FPS. Well, Joe, how is this reducing my input delay? Having it in the background won't actually make a difference guys as this app takes such little usage out of your computer so do not worry guys about that. Like honestly I could have a hundred timer resolutions open and it probably wouldn't be as much as Google Chrome. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Alright guys so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the link in the description to be directed to the timer resolution website. Make sure guys you're going on this exact same link because quite a lot of these are scams and are dodgy and I don't want you guys having any problems with your PC but what you guys are going to want to do is scroll down to where it says Windows 7, Vista, XP, etc. That is the link that you guys are going to want to download. Now I know it says Windows 7, you may be skeptical wondering, well I have a Windows 10 machine. Trust me, it works perfectly fine on Windows 10. The reason why time resolution can also be paid for is for consistent updates, but it works perfectly fine for me and should work for you guys. But you guys are not done just yet, you want to press the maximum button on timer resolution for the maximum performance, minimize it and keep it in the background while you play all your games. Alright guys, so for this method, I'm going to be going over all the best settings in Fortnite Battle Royale. Settings play a big role in reducing input delay guys, so pay attention clearly for this one. Alright guys, so what you're going to want to do is put all your graphic quality on low. I think you guys already know this. Now if you're still getting quite a lot of input delay, I recommend reducing your 3D resolution to 80%. That is a very effective method. And right below guys is your advanced graphics. You guys want to put your VSync on off, motion blur off and show FPS on. For your direct version, it's really dependent on what PC you have. In my case, my PC handles way better with DirectX 11, but for you guys, DirectX 12 may be the better option depending on your PC. Another thing you guys want, this one's a huge one, is to enable allow multi-thread rendering. Now the only people who should do this are people with 4 cores or more on your processor and right now I'm about to show you guys how you can find out how many cores your processor has. So what you guys are going to want to do is you want to go over to an app called Task Manager. This comes with your PC so do not worry about installing anything Exus. But you guys want to head over to performance, click on your CPU and right below guys it should give you all the information. Mine says that I have 6 cores, yours might be different, but if it's anything below 4 guys I would not recommend enabling multi-thread rendering. So guys with that being said let's move on to method number 3. This method is another one to do with your in-game so please do not quit Fortnite. What you guys are going to want to do is scroll down in your settings and look for a setting called Nvidia Reflex Low Latency. Now with personal experience I use OnPlus Boost but if your PC still can't handle it and you're seeing a lot of frame drops I recommend dropping it down to the one below. 
and also put your textures to high because I don't know the combination works so well together reducing your input delay there's a lot of science behind it I did watch a lot of other youtubers speak about it I don't know too much about it but what I do know guys is that that is the best combination of settings and having your textures on high trust me it does sound weird but having textures on high gives you absolutely no input delay and really really does feel smooth guys you have to try it but i'm not just saying you have to have textures on high you have to remember to also have on plus boost turned on but without more being said guys let's move on to method number four this method is an insane one so you guys definitely want to look into it so this is a really effective method that not many people know about but what you guys want to do is search up keyboard and go over to your keyboard properties now you guys want to put your key repeat delay set to fast and your key repeat rate on fast now these two settings pretty much reduce the time it takes for your keyboard to repeat keys and the delay will be a lot less if you guys put it to fast. So yeah, do these two settings, it doesn't even take long and it really really does help. So guys, for this method you guys want to download something called NVIDIA Control Panel. This is an essential for every single NVIDIA graphics card user. But what you guys are going to want to do is scroll down and find where it says low latency mode and you guys want to set that to ultra if you have a powerful system i would recommend going for ultra if you guys see that you're getting a little bit of slowbacks in your performance try and reduce it to one before ultra if you're able to play the game at a solid frame rate i'm pretty sure your pc could handle this but you know i can't speak for everyone's computers it should work fine unfortunately guys if you do own a radeon graphics card you're not going to be eligible to do these but one thing i will say guys is if this video gets 100 likes i will most definitely make a video dedicated to you radeon users to explain exactly how to optimize your graphics card there are certain settings on radeon cards such as amd anti-lag that will literally literally blow your PC and make it super fast so I'll definitely want to make a video on that so let's try and reach 100 likes and also guys if you feel that you want even more advice on top of this in reducing your input delay I'll literally put an end screen showing the video and I'll link it in the description but I give insane advice on that video too and guys one thing I really want to say is if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you in any way please drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications just a quick reminder this only takes three seconds out of your day that's three buttons you have to press and it will honestly make my life complete like i said i'm getting so close to 5k subscribers use creator code joeshd in the item shop while you can guys and honestly i, I want to appreciate you so much for not clicking off the video like my retention time on youtube is terrible usually and one more thing I want to say is I'll be live streaming every single Saturday. So turn on those post notifications so you can speak to me in person for advice on things such as input delay. And roll in the outro guys. See you in the next one.